You're listening to the Miss Artastic Podcast. Inspiration for art teachers. Here's your host, Kathleen McGivern. Hello, my lovely friends. Today, I thought I'd share with you a little bit about who I am. Now, before I do, I'll give you a brief introduction about who I am, and then I'll go deep. So, I'm Kathleen McGivern, and I'm a professional artist, teacher, and the creator of Ms. Artastic. As an artist, I create lowbrow artworks and have shown my work in both commercial and public galleries. I'm also Ms. Artastic, and I create art teaching resources and art lessons for Artastic Nation. I also have two cats named Audrey and Russell, and I live in Canada. I love creating art lessons that engage kids and ask them to experiment with a range of mediums and materials. I like to make lives easier for teachers by offering fully planned art lessons with all the resources they need to teach confidently and free their lives from endless lesson planning. I spend a lot of time thinking about what kids are interested in and I use that as inspiration for a lot of my artworks. You can find my art resources in my TPT store, Ms. Artastic, or get them as part of your membership in the Artastic Collective, which opens twice a year, once in January and once in August. Links to the Artastic Collective and my TPT store will be in the description of this episode. Now, let's go deep. My story starts at Emily Carr University of Art and Design in Vancouver, British Columbia. I spent a lot of time in high school making creepy ceramic sculptures. You see, I fell in love with clay there, and by grade 12, I decided that I would go to art school to find myself instead of pursuing a typical career. I wanted to be an artist. I graduated high school full of optimism. I didn't know what I wanted what to be when I, you know, grew up, but I knew that I loved making art. And then all the chatter started. Why did you go to art school? What are you going to do with an art degree? Have you ever heard of a starving artist? No, never heard of that one before. Why do you even want to go to art school? An art degree isn't even a real degree. You're not going to make money being an artist. You won't make money till you're dead. Well, I learned a lot at Emily Carr University and made extraordinary memories. I grew and I changed as a person and developed the passions in my life. I made it to the final year at Emily Carr, and I remember my professors asking me, what are you going to do once you graduate? I honestly had not thought thought about it. I knew that I wanted to make art, and suddenly all that negative chatter came back again, swirling around in my head. What are you going to do with a visual art degree? I remember clearly as though it were yesterday, when I was in the senior ceramics studio working away on a sculpture when one professor told me to consider being an art teacher. So I did. The first use of my Bachelor of Visual Arts was to get into a second university where I got my Bachelor of Education with a minor in secondary teaching. So I became a high school art teacher. However, During my time attending art school and the years after leaving Emily Carr University, more things happened that all had to do with having an art degree. I began to participate in multiple art shows a year all over Vancouver and the Fraser Valley. 2020 is the first year that I haven't been in a show because of the pandemic. My useless degree was being put into use. Not only was I teaching kids in high school and elementary, but was showing and selling my art professionally too. During my first year of teaching, I also started Ms. Artastic. 
Teachers Pay Teachers was just a baby back in 2011, and so was Ms. Artastic. I didn't really take it as seriously then as I do now because I was all about making art. I was using that useless art degree because what would anyone do with an art education anyway? Now, here is where it gets brutally honest and painful. Being a teacher isn't the same in my district as it is elsewhere. We don't have specials. All our teachers are teachers. So we all fight for the same jobs with the same seniority, although experience does come into play. We don't typically have full-time elementary art teachers. Everyone becomes a teacher, and then, because we're all in a union, you get a position by seniority. The only schools left that have full-time art positions are high schools. After five years of working multiple schools, teaching art some days in elementary and subbing art in high school on the other days, I realized that in order to build seniority, I had to get what's called a continuing contract. So I signed on with an elementary school as a general teacher to start getting seniority. So in almost 10 years, um, the dream job hasn't really come around or our positions have been removed after people have retired or um, they just released like a tiny part of a contract, which means it kind of makes it impossible to work full time the way they've set it up. So that's not affordable, so I can't take them. Like I have to pay for food. <laughs> and this is something that I never thought would happen. Um, it's been all kinds of painful and my passion and dream has always been to make art professionally and teach art to kids. Well, I decided that art matters. I decided that when I went to that elementary school that I was going to teach art to kids. That forced me to make Ms. Artastic bigger. I started creating art projects and resources for kids in a mad sort of way, and I was using them with the kids in my own classroom, doing demos, creating more and more. I opened up a blog, started a YouTube channel, and most recently, the Artastic Collective. And now, of course, I have this podcast. All day long, I make art, either art tutorials for kids or art for me. Essentially, the closing of many art jobs in my district has forced me to fight harder than ever to teach art to kids, even in the non-traditional sense. And still, I make art for me, professionally, that I show in galleries. I will always be an artist, and I take that very seriously. You might be thinking, so what? What does this have to do with anything well, everything. I would not be the artist, teacher, or be Ms. Artastic without having gone to art school. I would not have gotten the mad, wild, crazy idea to invent Ms. Artastic to support art teachers and general teachers and create the art lessons that I love to make. I simply just enjoy creating art. I love making my own paintings and sculptures, and I love making art for art tutorials for kids. I love making art for my YouTube channel. I just really love making art. And there is nothing more magical than making art and looking at art. It is my everything. Art education matters, and going to art school was tough. It asked you to be creative and think critically always. You had to experiment and make mistakes and be vulnerable and open to criticism or you simply wouldn't make it. Being an artist means you're always using growth mindset and this was all happening before growth mindset was a trendy topic in schools. Going to art school taught me all of this and being an artist professionally, applying to galleries and getting constant rejection at the start of that art career made me stronger and forced me to be creative. It showed me that when one thing doesn't work, as is often in art, especially if you work with ceramics because sometimes 
The clay has a mind of its own, you know. Anyway, it showed me that when one thing doesn't work, do something else. It taught me to be creative and resilient. It taught me how to teach myself, how to find knowledge, how to learn to grow a business, and to find out and learn things that I didn't know I could do, like create a blog, create art resources, create YouTube videos, and a membership. And even now, this podcast, it taught me to never give up when being rejected from galleries and taught me to be creative and find new paths for getting to a destination. It helped me, it helped make me who I am today, a person who doesn't take no or roadblocks for an answer. If I have an idea, I will find a way to make it happen, no matter what. So, that is the story of me, Kathleen McGivern, and how Ms. Artastic came to be. So, what is Ms. Artastic anyway? Ms. Artastic essentially is my brand. Under the name Ms. Artastic, I create art resources for teachers, general teachers, or homeschooling parents to use in the elementary and middle school levels. I really enjoy creating artworks that will target various areas of the curriculum and will encourage students to experiment with a range of mediums. And I, of course, like to work with themes and topics that are of high student interest. I am always keeping my eye open for what is all the rage in the student world. I'm really interested in saving teachers time and therefore I believe and put my whole heart into this, but I design high quality art lessons that will provide teachers with all the elements of an art lesson that they will need. And I'm especially interested in breaking down art lessons into individual slides or provide them with videos so that way they can teach my art lessons successfully. My art resources can be found in my Teachers Pay Teachers store, Ms. Artastic, or by subscribing to my art resource library um, for art teachers, which is called the Artastic Collective. You can find the links to my TPT store and my membership in my blog, MsArtastic.com. Now, in addition to hosting a TPT store and an art teacher membership, I also have a Ms. Artastic blog where you can find lots of art teaching ideas and even the show notes to my podcasts. Think of it as like a hub or a directory that will take you everywhere you need to go in Artastic land. As well, I have the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel where I post weekly how to draw videos or art lessons for kids, which are great for at home or in the classroom. So be sure to subscribe. And you know what? I would love to get to 100,000 subscribers. So please share that link, subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Finally, I have the Artastic Collective. And with the Artastic Collective Art Resource Library membership for our teachers, my mission is to provide you with prepared art lessons, resources, and activities that will allow you to free up time and live your life. Whether that means you're going to travel or pursue hobbies or spend time with your fur babies or family, you should totally be able to be an instructor or teacher and have the time to live your life. So with the membership, you will receive teaching ideas, art tutorials, and inspiration and guidance to help you navigate and problem solve in your classroom or studio. So this membership will provide you with monthly bundles of art lessons. Yep, every month. Um, And those are going to give you the freedom to create art, live your life, and engage your students with art lessons. And this membership is intended for elementary and middle school art teachers. As well, you will gain access to a private community in the membership. And so by joining, you will have access to my membership community form where you can talk with other art teachers and get my help anytime. You can learn, grow through my tutorials, virtual meetups, and the community forum. You can chat with the members or myself in the forums or join us for live Q and A's or meetups online. There are monthly live Q and A's and these will all be hosted through my Zoom events in the membership. So there, I'm gonna answer all your burning questions. 
With your Tastic Collective membership, you're going to have the freedom and energy to explore your passions, spend time, and again, live your life. Because lesson planning takes a lot of time out of your personal life. Endless evenings working, weekends prepping, you need to be able to have time for you. And I'm here to simplify things so you can. Well, that's it, folks. Join me in the next episode where I will be talking about teaching art in distance learning times.